All right, so we are back at it. Let's hope that we're not going to have the same issue. We are back into playing League of Legends. My name is Starlord. I've just finished my promotion games. Ended up in Platinum 4. Let's see. So we are right here with 6 wins, 4 losses and 62 points. So we have like a long, long way till we're going to reach where we ended last season. Yeah, but what can you do? Sometimes, sometimes you gotta make a door. A little bit of a Vi reference here. But yeah, what do we have here? While we wait for the match, let me, no, let me actually do this. Let me do this. Because I wanted to switch my roles a bit. Towards playing more middle and uh, throw in some jungle. At least for the next couple of games. So we are waiting and we are waiting more. Hmm. Using this calm opportunity, I want to welcome everyone to the stream. Hope you guys are having a great time, just like I do. Hope you're enjoying League of Legends, my commentary, my gameplay. And then hopefully you're going to manage to learn something from my experience. Because I do not only want to share my thoughts, opinions and uh, gameplay to you, I also want to teach a little bit. This teaching is oriented more towards new players. Who would like to play the game? Who would like to learn how to play several roles? What type of mid laners are you going to play as? AD or AP? Um, probably AP. Out of AD mid laners, it's either Aatrox, Corky, Talon, Zed. It's something from that area. But I, what I want to be playing, I'm gonna play as Lux. Let's light it up. Get myself a legendary skin on this champion as well. Okay, so if in terms of runes, it's like Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, and Scourge. Here, Inspiration Second, and go with Magical Footwear. And you can either go with Cosmic Insight if you want 45% CDR, or you can go with Biscuit Delivery. Uh, since I'm planning, I'm probably planning to use Teleport. So Cosmic Insight is probably the best option. And here we also change this uh, to more P or CDR. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You can go AP or CDR. 
I'm still still debating. Is nine A P bigger than from one to ten percent CDR? We are going with CDR. So if it's clad mid, we are switching with uh, Fiora. And it's not like it's not me who will have problem against clad, although clad can go for one shot. Basically, dash in and try to beat me. Also, Nunu ganks are going to be a problem. Yeah, I'm going with full CDR here. CDR and AP. So my general idea is to be more focused towards farming. That's why I brought CDR. Okay. A candle in the dark, a beacon to the world. Think before you speak. I so didn't want to start Q, and they probably know. Yeah, they are probably either invading top side. Or whatever. Knowledge illuminates the true path. I'm going towards top, but from more of a safe route. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me check. Sorry, I didn't manage. No. Yeah. My bad, my bad. All you were seeing was. Oh, yeah. Sometimes happens. But yeah, we started our queue first. It doesn't really matter. It's more of a farming lane. Also, I'm actually going to show you, I'll at least try to, that playing AP or range top lane is actually better than playing melee. Okay. An ally has been slain. Our bot lane got double killed. Why did my previous stream end it so abruptly? Oh, well, the problem with my previous stream was basically that my client froze up and didn't want to unstuck, basically. It's sad. That this happened, but yeah. They said they were gonna fix clients, guys. They said it. Okay, so I'm going back to mid side. 
they really want to have should I say client against me that's why they are rotating back and forth between mid and top and I'm missing CS They they again rotating. What? What is this? Wow, little cheesers. Seriously. I want this cannon. Yeah. This was so unfortunately. All right, all right. I get you. The elements are all at my disposal. So let's basically go towards farming fast. Like the fact that we are. Oh boy. Once again, we are rotating. The problem with those rotations now is that I am basically in an XP disadvantage. Wow. Yeah, so the top is missing. Just for the purpose of fast pushing, just gonna go with this. And I'm gonna go for last chapter. And Talia is roaming. Okay, and we are going back. So now we are at almost 20 CDR. I don't know why this... And they again, they swapped. They again swapped. Now that I have mana, I'm actually good with just long range, long range CSing. Although this guy can actually just all in. My ult is short CD, so... I 
animation hmm. will see us through. Wow, this Rengar. The strongest light is the one within. Yay. Can you please tell that what is the type uncommon on top of Lux Portrait? Basically, it's a legendary skin thing that. Basically, you hit champions with your abilities, you fill up the bar, and now you can change, change your appearance. Change your appearance, it changes your sound, sound effects and stuff. It's not doing anything for like in-game stuff, but... It's just more more of a visual and sound effects changing that legendary skin. Some legendary skins have. Once again, I'm planning on just pushing this wave in. I'm not interested in fighting. Like. It's at this point of the game where I have like AP and also with all this rotation somehow I am still capable of just farming. It's so weird. Like I'm almost same CS as Clad. Wow. Madness, madness. Cosmetics only I see. Yep, only cosmetics. Bot is gonna get doofed. Yep. Bot is doofed. Yeah, whatever. This is so... This is pathetic. I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening. What's this? Why we are rotating like 50 times for like 5 minutes? Why bot lane lost again? Why I am 0-3 again? Like, yeah, sure, we are having Fat Fiora, but... The current guides me.
What are you doing? I'm just gonna push in, whatever. Weirdest, the most strangest game ever. Yeah, let's give a shutdown to AD Carry. What's happening? I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, yeah, it's clown fiesta. Give a five zero shutdown from Fiora to AD Carry, then AD Carry comes in suicides. Wow. And I still do not have 15 minutes in, not even one item completed. <sighs> yeah. I'm just gonna wait for this item. Gold is one element everyone respects. I'm like, can I farm? Also, thank god I went CDR, I'm almost at... I'm almost at max CDR, by the way. And by the looks of it, with this Fiesta, we're probably gonna need it. Like, I'm still gonna do damage, and I know it. It's just that... Yeah, Klet is trying to flank. What is this? This is so... this is so bad. Oh boy. The AD carry that ju just jumps in for no reason there. Sure, we're not gonna manage to push it. This is insane. Oh. 
I don't know. And at this point, you can't even tell like who is going to win. Alrighty. Yeah, our objective control is like so bad. And I'm just clearing waves with Dolty since I have, since I can. Ow. Oh, she hurts. Yeah, tower is gone. Drake is gone. Can you, can you like, yeah. Oh. It's done for. It's, Clat has HP for like one hit, so, so that he can just, yeah. This is so bad. Yeah, whatever. So your uh, typical League of Legends solo queue in whatever season it is. Doesn't matter what season. Also, they can take Baron and I'm basically useless against minions. Yep. What was the point of whole moving up and down? There was no point. It was just a waste of time. Whatever. GG. Like it's so typical. Checking my ability to move my champ on the map. I don't know what they checked, but yeah. Next time this thing is gonna happen, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fall for it. Because this is annoying. There basically was no reason to do this thing. A dream is memory, magic, and wishes. Like usually when you swap lanes to fight against someone, the max amount of time when you swap lanes is like one or two, but not 
Come on, not five times, not six times. Life is but a dream. Yeah, we are in such a disadvantage now. At least need to buy Zonias. Okay, they are going. Come on, you're you have two items and I have items. Come on. <sighs> yeah. Gold becomes good. Basic economic alchemy. They're just trolling at this point. Yeah, our team also. I'm no fairy godmother. But I need items. Do damage, I need items. Why do I have a strange feeling that I'm getting flanked by uh, by Clad? Okay. Bit of a calm, calm before the storm, basically. They want to start Baron badly. I know it. I also know that this cannon will going to just dive. Yeah, you can try. Just use this possibility. Wow. 
Wow. So bad. <laughs> I need this. I need to buy a ward. Gold is one element everyone respects. My anti carry was spamming key modes with while cannon was attacking you. Yeah. Basically a solo queue. Solo queue rank games. And the fact that we are Even remotely. Capable of doing something there. Glad is coming. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I really hate when this happens. Yeah, and it's like what? What's Fiora gonna do there? She's getting CC'd for days. Fiora is good into melee picks, but it's an entirely different story when it comes to range picks. And yeah. Yeah, for Drake. What gives that we have kills? Like, uh, objectives. Is what matters. They will engage. Whatever. Yeah, keep spamming me. I don't care. I've landed so many perfect... So many perfect bindings, whatever. GG
Yeah, final into the next game. Wow. Yeah. On to the next game. What a game, what a game to start climbing. Yikes. Let's see, I haven't watched how much points I lost. Well, no. Doesn't matter. It's still... Hopefully without clowns this time, but you never know for sure. Yeah. The only thing that I know for sure is that I don't know anything for sure. You never know, especially in League. Opportunities are endless. Especially when first like half of the game, you and your top laner are running around back and forth between lanes like dummies. Yeah, like, I get that you want to play versus clan, but it's not like you have to force me and yourself to run back and forth from lanes for, like, 10 or so minutes. Yeah. She was afraid of cannon that much. Yeah, pretty much. But even if she was, it's not like you have to Two kills already advantage. Running from mid to top, from top to mid. Ah. I'm not gonna teach my teammates how to play the game. But yeah, as uh, far as what are we going to be playing? We are going to be playing mid lane. Maybe their mid will be picking now. Yeah, can cannon and uh, range champions uh, in general, uh, they tend to be a beating fewer, and neither of their teammates have picked anything. So yeah. But yeah, just in general, it's like if you pick range top, especially AP range top, Fiora will gonna have a hard time dealing with you. Well, that's considering that you're not gonna play... Not gonna play dumb and go into fighting her in melee range. 
What are we betting? Cash. Alright, Trash Caitlyn was banned, so probably two people from their team were in the last lobby. So I'm picking mid first. Yeah. Live and die by the blade. So electrocute. Sudden impact. Eyeball collection and relentless hunter. And in this tree, it's LeBlanc, so she will probably gonna try to all in me. I wonder if I'm gonna go with like resolve and I'm gonna go bomb plating. Well, first of all, here we are going for a fence. Decision Triumph Umnegra and AP Resin AP regen, not regen, AP resistance. Oh, they have NAR. No, it's we who have NAR. Okay, so it's Flash Ignite mid versus Flash Ignite mid. Tell them as before, levels farms with uh, W in lane. Yes. He goes with maxing W and then maxing Q. You have good like burst damage. And you can roam a lot. We're probably going to utilize that, like push the lane and roam. So our team is more of a engage heavy. Their team is more for a little bit of assassination and more of a team fighting. The They're trying to go the for an evade. Also for those of you who do not know, uh, Talon's Q, it crits, I believe, um, the closer you are, um, basically in that little circle. Okay, a little bit of a trade there. Great. You know that Nar is now kind of, I believe, I don't believe Swain used his flash. Their bones will wet my 
Okay, missed minions. Missed a bunch of minions. Which is not the thing that you should be doing. She didn't miss any. I'm gonna level up Q. She is dead. That's Talon Burst early game for you. Basically it's a double bleeding and ignite and yeah. And like three auto attacks. I should have went for E because I'm going back. He can TP that early. Uh, teleport is viable, is usable basically straight from straight from the start of the game. So yeah, you can use T you can use TP almost at the start of the game. Wait, are we talking about Talon's Q or or what? Okay, so we place a ward here. Yeah, nice try. Uh, next time I have to use this side to run away, because as you can see, you did to beat to hit uh, Leblanc. It's a uh, jump from my Q. And yes, he can jump to enemy champions, but if he hits Q while being closer to the champ, he will crit. That's why there are two circles here. One that is a little bit closer, and the other one being a bit far, further. Now I do not have... Yeah, their dive failed. Oh boy. Let's push this lane. No, 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 no. I have no mana. And there is a jungler there also. One thing that we are going to buy will be boots and longsword. No, not a ward. I do not need another one. So as you can see, I'm roaming and LeBlanc is like, what, only a little bit more up in CS. Also, I need to... move faster around map 
utilize your jumps. Yeah. Wait, they stole a Drake and... Yeah. <sighs> Fun thing. They stole a Drake. I need my level 6. Let's push this wave in and let's go to find ourselves a kill. Hmm. So what are we going to do? We're gonna place ward here. We're gonna take a scuttle. gonna move back to our lane because LeBlanc will probably going to push it. Yeah, me chasing LeBlanc was not the greatest idea in the world. Yeah, she probably has Ignite still. Oh boy. Okay, do this and do this. I need to get to lethality items as fast as possible so that I can start one shotting people. So it's 64 to 67, not that. I should also have bought Tiamat. For the fast push. Okay. Bart wasted some of his stuff. Wow, why did I flash there? Armor penet penetration now is pointless to wear. Armor penetration uh, is... Yeah, kind of pointless. Only some champions wear it, like Jace. But they pair it up with Lethality. So you are anyway wearing like Lethality and Armor Pen. Yeah, my tower is gonna get hurt a lot. They might even probably 
dive me. Yeah. Operation save the tower with your own life. Because we have to get the first tower. Let me get this. They are probably going to work. Now that was a bad ulti. Yeah, I really should have bought like TM at first. Just for sake of wave clearing. Wow. Now I have to go help top. Yeah, they have they have wards. First destroyed tower gives bonus, yeah, to the entire team. And to the one who is uh, killing it. And so she's like 5 CS. Wow! This guy has no idea how to smite. should go back and I'm gonna get myself a Tiamat and pardon me my un really unskilled performance on Talon it's a sham that I'm not really accustomed to But he's fun. Yeah. Our Naru is getting camped by a jungler, by... Okay. Yeah, she has damage, that's why I'm scared. Alright. How did I die? Ignite damage. I 
I believe I died from just like ignite. Yeah, so yellow, red circles on terrain shows whether or not you can reuse your jumping, your E ability. Yeah, they are camping me. All right, back to Fountain. Those campers. Now they're probably going top. Yep. Yep, they are. Runner! Run like the wind. Hold. <laughs> wow, how much stuff did they waste? This tower is going to go down. Oh. oh, it's another Herald. Thank God. I used Ignite there just to cut his healing. Yeah. Now... Yeah, we got first dragon. So in this situation, yeah, let's go for a bit of a mar. This is starting to become a problem. But like at least we get the first dragon which is infernal and second one will be infernal. Basically I believe all of them right now will be infernals. Wow, so that's why he's so tanky. I wonder why couldn't I hit him in any way. Well, turns out it's a full tank bard. And that's the first one. Well, then I'm not gonna hit him. Okay, let's go back, let's go buy a Hex Drinker. 
and a ward. And actually I have to start farming. Because I'm starting to fall off a bit in terms of damage. Ideal situation for Talon is that he has to be the one running around the map, chasing low, chasing squishies down. As far as I can see. Oh boy. As far as I can see, I cannot even kill an AD carry. What? Yay. This is really unfortunate. Get items to get AD carry. To manage to get AD carry. Let me push this. They are engaging. Yeah. This was a disgusting fight. Yeah. That's probably a GG. Fighting again. This LeBlanc just one shot at our top lane. Why am I tanking it? Wow. No. Too many Fed members. Too many. Too far too many.
Now that they kind of change those crit items, crit MF started to become a very a very dangerous pick. Yeah, she wasn't fat. It was me who had no damage. For no reason. Yeah, our AD carry is dead. Yep. It's GG. Chasing, surprising. They are probably doing Baron. No, they are not. Wow. Well, so out of this situation, they only decided to take. Oh no, they did take Baron. Whatever. Yeah, we wasted three ultimates to kill one person. Most certainly not the greatest trade, so to speak. Yay. I wasn't even able to scratch her. Somehow Talon with almost three items. Well, it's most likely going to be a loss. Can say anything else? Yeah, let's farm mumps and use this opportunity to say hi and welcome to everyone who is watching. My name is Starlord and I'm here providing you with League of Legends ranked game series. We are basically going from plat 4 
On towards. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. That was two Qs from Misfortune. Two crit Qs. Interesting. Oh, wow. This MF. Yep. It's GG, guys. Okay. I haven't managed to win this, but yeah, stuff happens. Let's hope that Lady Luck will be smiling for us next time, next game. Okay, into the next we go. At least you're giving informative tips from time to time. Yeah, well, I'm trying to. Trying to interest the viewer in watching those games from a learning perspective. And because of that, our next game we should try to carry. Try to do our best to carry the game. Alright. Into another game we go. We are going mid lane again. Now, as far as things go, we are going to ban Diana. And we'll see who we'll be fighting against. Okay. The bands are set. Now it's time to pick champs. Senna probably AD carry. Probably gonna go with Lux again. Wukong. Hmm. So it can probably be Garen top and... Actually, let's go with Lux. Let's pick ourselves a barrier. And change of masteries. Yeah, Wukong mid. Yeah, Wukong mid. Support AD carry, jungler, top lane. Right, if you want to play Wukong. Well, actually... Yep. Mm. 
We will gonna play it a bit safer. Wukong post his sort of mini rework that they've done. Uh, people are saying that he is weaker overall. I don't know myself because that's the first time I'm actually playing against a Wukong. I've picked up Resolve secondary with bone plating. Ooh, and why can perform a scary combo? Yeah, I, they basically can kill me on level six. And that's why we are going to play more of a farm game. But the reason why I went Resolve with bone plating is because I know that Wu is going to use E, hit me with auto attacks, hit me with Q. At least I will be able to negate some damage from his engages from time to time. Yeah, he played. He played a lot. Hmm. We'll see. His items will probably be. Tiamat and lethality items. Basically, what I was doing on Talon. Also, Hail of Blades, why? Does this work? In your third attack. Procs, armor break. In my opinion, electrocute is kind of better. Especially since it scales into late game. And allows you to go for extra damage. And with uh, Halo Blades, it's just three attacks. Know what would be better instead of showing mastery points of champions should have shown their win loss ratio. Yeah, <laughs> especially mine. It is again around 50%. Once again, uh, yeah, standard door entering pots. He probably starts E second, you no, know, E first. Question is, question is, will he gonna go? Yeah, he will go for aggressive plays. He again brought ignite. The strongest light is the one within. Okay, our bot is probably trying to go for early skirmish. I'm gonna place a ward here. And I'm gonna go here. Mm 
Yeah. Just as I say, it started E first. Ow. Already forcing me to use pots. Use the pot himself. On level 2, he might try to go all in me. Yeah, by the looks of how he's walking, and I missed it, darn. He really tries to zone me off CSing. Apparently it's working into his favor. Especially with me missing some CS. Alright, so because we have barrier, we can actually punish him. Why didn't you wait? That's so bad. How much for ten of these? That's basically forcing me to use second Dorn. Wukong cool, gonna flash. They're forcing a 3v. Wow. A candle in the dark, a beacon to the world. This Lee. He should have immediately just went in. What do you want? I'll lead the way to victory. Yeah. And Wukong got my first kill. Oh, that's basically giving him advantage. In a nutshell. It wasn't that great in a lane. Count CSing. And he has TMAT already. Wow, that's not good. Just go back away. Well, then we are going to be building our advantage through CSing and hitting tower. He wants to roam around. Fine, fine. As a frequent shopper, should I receive a discount? The one element I would like. I will play your game. Good, some good amount of money there. Yeah. 
And he failed his gank. He didn't get anything. But he is going to get the first plate. So in plates, uh, we are even. I believe nowadays Wukong can recast ultimate if he wants to. I don't know why our bot lane is here. I probably have a feeling that Wukong is sitting and just waiting to jump on me. Or he went back. Oh, wow. Now that's a damage he does not want to fight against. All right, Vi six. That's basically a kill potential. He has his boots of speed, which means he will going to. I wonder where are they? I wanted to old snipe. Fine, fine. I can't. Gold becomes good. Basic economic alchemy. Orn is having a good time against this Garen. Yeah, this is full lethality build. Okay. So Wu is missing again. He's probably going again towards bot lane or trying to set up a kill on me with Y. Alright. Pretty much even damage back and forth. Okay. Dang. Lucky. But we still managed to get one kill. And that's what you get for not respecting barrier. Here 
there was only like two options either he was going back or no unfortunately why does she have boots of mobility why does everyone have boots of mobility oh oh boy Boots of Mobility Fiesta. <laughs> go, go, Orn. Go, go, Orn. Orn is one we two them. Okay, he took two plates. He wants to only me, especially with me trolling my skills like that. Yeah, he wants to do it. The problem is, he cannot really. He's sitting here. Okay. Yeah. Basically, uh, that's the thing against what I can do anything. I don't have cleans, but if I had cleans, it wouldn't have helped me against Wukong. Yeah, whatever. Wow. Yeah, that's as much as you can do against that gang. But it's not like it's the end of the world. It's like, yeah, you got one kill. We are going to take towers. Yeah, so Wokong is kind of fast and deadly. Yeah, Caitlyn is dead. Uh, we are going to be taking this tower next. When can I burn something? Where is Wukong though? You sure you want to do this? This time I have barrier. And this time you do not have Wukong. <laughs> also Wukong died. So... Wait, there's a Garen there.
Yeah, I'm having a feeling. No, oh, Wukong is still top. How did he die it, I wonder? Well, probably Lee Sin with Nautilus killed him. Or Orn. Orn is super fat. Alright. Let's see. Magic penetration boots. And this. Sell this. And buy a book. And let's get a Let's get it and another trinket. That is for wielding, not for entertaining. All right, so I got an upgraded Luden Sacco. Uh, yeah, Sorn has, I believe, like all his skills do percentage damage. Yay! A fat AD carry. <laughs> My root did wonderful there. Managed to root both of them at the same time. I could have done it kind of better. Yeah, his knock-up duration... GG! We won. Prompts to... Ah, let's give it to Horn. Yay. Yeah, so we'll lose 11 and we get 27, so we got what we lost. Let's jump into the next and probably a final game of today's session. Again with meat and jungle. Yeah, I can say I don't like his icon. Looks weird. But yeah, for those of you who are wondering why have I went to mid lane instead of top lane, it's basically because mid lane has more impact on the game. Thus, having a more percentage win ratio. Thus, if you play mid lane, you will be able to impact and uh, to... At least have control of what's happening uh, in the bottom area of uh, the map where dragons are spawning and dragons are super important. So yeah, that's what it is. And jungle is a jungle. You run around, you farm camps and you set up ganks. Simple as that. Hopefully, we will be climbing pretty fast. Hopefully. And let's also do not lose a lot, because the more you lose, the less points you will get. Less points you will get, the longer will it take for you to climb. I do not understand how does who changed, if any. Like to me, he levels E and picks 80 items to perform one shot tactic. Basically, their idea behind changing Wukong was revolving around make him a bit better early, but uh, worse uh, late game. 
Okay, we ban Diana. So yeah, he's a bit worse late game for being more powerful early game. He also has this quality of life sort of changes with his copy on W that basically I believe it, it attacks the closest target to it and not just standing still. Well, some changes are really just done for, just for, just to show that they are working. So yeah. So Yasu. Yasu, I don't know, he can be top or bottom. I mean, top, bottom, mid, everywhere. Since we have an AB top, might as well do this. Because why not? And let's see who they pick. Shaco time, which means no matter the result, this match would go fast. Hopefully. Also, they will invade. Let me get this. And this we change to overgrowth conditioning this like this yep so if it's a yasu mid yep it's a yasu mid good actually really good Because I don't like Teemo. Akali might have more chance against Teemo. I really do hope that we will not going to get invaded. Also, with Zack, they have a good setup for Yasuo ult. Now, depending on the... The picks, it's totally... Shaco can counter invade. Hope we won't gonna get pulled by Blitz Q. And I hope they will not gonna see me or me or Akali. So that they will not gonna send Timo fighting me because Timo with Ignite and Dark Harvest. I would rather not fight him. Okay, so I went with 
conditioning as well as overgrowth for, uh, for sustain defense I'm gonna be rushing Trinity I will not rest. hopefully it's not a team on it it is not it is Yasu. Okay. So we're like three for three. Wow. So glad that the game stopped my auto, my W, because I pressed ignite. Oh boy. Gotta love League of Legends. How does Ignite, that you have no animation of casting, can stop your auto attack? Literally. How? It has no casting time, it's an instant. But how, how does it stop your auto attack? If it's not an auto attack reset, whatever. Oh boy. Hooray me. We're losing my early game pressure. Like I'm still, I can kill him, but not now. Okay. We are chilling. Okay. So it's more of a farm fest now. Shaco should carry this, yep. I kind of wish that I wouldn't, that I didn't die there. But as you know, 
you never know how leak works properly. Stuff that works one time definitely do not work another another time. But now you know that ignite is an auto attack reset, a reset or auto attack cancel. It's weird, but what you gonna do? It's how League of Legends quote unquote works. An ally has been slain. I wish I didn't die there, but yeah. I got what I got. So in terms of CS we are mostly even. Gonna be even here. I missed the cannon, wish I didn't. Also, because I have conditioning and overgrowth, I'm starting to accumulate, I'm going to be accumulating HP as well as free defense. So he is one level above me. Okay. Okay. He is still cautious of fighting me. And that's exactly what I need, because I need to farm. Okay. He probably knew that the jungler was there. That's why he backed off. Now that was not good. Okay, I managed to hit him with Q. Though it almost did nothing. Just took his shield out. Okay, so he starts to crit. Slowly but surely, Sheiko is taking major objectives. Good. Well, not good. I survived, but... was kind of scary. Well, will I manage? Yep. Check on gate and get the kill. Good. And since he's placing a Herald, this tower will gonna get hurt. Yep. Which will give Shaco even more gold, so that he will be able to buy items, buy more items. So, 4 out of 5 plates are gone. Let's actually pink war on this side. So he has Phantom Dancer.
Yeah, all right. Let's push this in. I don't think that we can take the tower, but if we can, it's actually good. I think we will try. No. Boy, in this Zack. I have to push one wave in. Yeah, Yasuo, the master of, I would say a lot, but I can't. So we are slowly working towards Trinity Force. An enemy has been slain. Bot is getting ganked. I think they will, yeah, they are aware. I spooked them a little bit. And Shaco got killed. Okay, first tower is ours. At least something. No, once again. Why did my all did no damage? Oh, like seriously. Why did my all did nothing there? Oh boy. Like it's a four stack ulti that deal nothing. Almost try force. Yeah, I'm starting to get salty a bit. Like Yasuo had four stacks of bleed plus ignite. And my ulti hits for like nothing. Balance. At least we have Fat Akali. And Fat Shaco. Uh, yeah, this is like weird. I had Phage, I had items, but... Where is my damage? Where is my... S tier champion damage? It's 
it's like there is no damage. How sad. Thank god that the enemy bot lane is still... Like... Yeah, they, sw they swapped. He's 1-6. He's worthless. Yay. E basically. Bot is losing hard. Yeah. Hit him previously for full charge and only managed to knock off his passive. Yeah. What you gonna do? I cannot compete with Riot Games in there. Let's do whatever sort of stuff they are doing. Shaco got hooked. Now I have to run. Because it's like four people, but nope, not four. Okay, buy this and buy word. Oh god. Oh yeah, now I see how how did they manage to get so fat. I will not rest. Now I'm going to get him. What? Come on! Well, thank God she didn't know I was there. Let's buy this. Actually, currently we are moving on to stop Teemo. What a rat. Rat Teemo. He's not a hamster, he's a rat. I'm gonna take this. I probably should go base and pick up a steric gauge. Wow. Now that's how you dodge a blitz hook while you are back into base. It's not that hard, you just dodge it.
this will never go into end, right? By the way, I do not know why I flash for that Teemo. I should really leave flash for Kate. Wow. And she slows me with crits. Riot Games, can you remove this? <sighs> 0 0.575% slow. From range. Give me a break, man. Give me a break. This is fair for whomever. Like, my W is like for one second, 90%, but it's in melee range. By the way, she somehow managed, managed to die, so... Wow. How bad are you guys? Yeah. What you gonna do now? What you gonna do? You gonna go call for help? It's not laning phase when I am my auto attack stop because I press ignite. And I still managed to miss a cannon minion. <sighs> this is so, so not good. I'm so bad at CSing. Well, I'm starting to get tanky, but the problem is this can kite me. And what is this? What What is this full AP blitz? They should have went with full AP Zack as well. Oh yeah, the team. The two shroom almost half HP gun. Cannot believe that this game is still winnable. Also, I believe Shaco lost so much HP just from walking on shrooms. I'm gonna go get rid of this Yasuo. Yeah, and where now are we gonna go? Nowhere, right? Am I getting chased? Yes.
I'm not gonna die. I'm not supposed to die. You won't gonna get rid of me that easily. Gonna have to try way better than that. Also, since they are having AP, and this AP starts to hurt, I'm buying Visage. Now this Yasuo won't be able to run away. But I wanted to have Flash for Kate. Uh, this team is again shrooming everything. And I'm going to go against Yasuo again. Yeah, yeah, so you are, you are what? Yes, yes, they, they failed so hard. They failed so hard. I was having my passive from that kill from OT and I just managed to chop them so good so good this is actually what we need a good Darius game time to redeem myself those poor plays Oh boy, now that's shake on the run. I have to go back and buy Visage. And after Visage we are probably getting G. Because why not? So as you can see, as someone was asking about armor penetration, this is what it looks like. AD carry do not give about any sort of armor penetration. In all days of League, if you would have done something like that, build no arm pen, tank will destroy you unless you play like Vayne. Nowadays, whatever. Also, they might steal it. Let me get my boost speed. Let me quickly fail. Wow, Caitlyn is still alive. Yay, yay. GG. Holy, holy, oh holy.
Wow. Boy, this was hard. Let's give this to Shaco. Whew. Whew. So let's open the box that we got. See what's inside. Yumi. I do not think that I have Yumi. No, I have. Okay. So, that's it for today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Hope you guys had fun. I'll see you next time. And the schedule for streams are on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. You can find them there. Have a nice time. Have a great day. And I see you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.